Hey everyone, welcome to the second video for section 7.6. In this video we're going to be talking about the face portraits that you get when you have complex eigenvalues and how you can sort of look at visualizing them and drawing them. And then we'll also touch on a couple tips for solving these equations for the eigenvectors. I know it can be a little bit strange now that the complex number is flying around. Let's go ahead and jump right on into it. So for phase portraits for complex numbers, the, the solutions you get aren't really straight lines anymore because they have sines and cosines in them. But we can still use them as a sort of basis for what's going to happen in our field and use that to get an idea of what's going on. So because you have sines and cosines, these are all going to be spirals or circles because of sines and cosines. So there's a lot more guessing involved in what these curves look like. Just because they're, they're not straight lines, it's hard to figure out what's going on. But there are two main things you can get for sure out of this. So one thing you can definitely get is the, are the curves flowing into or out of the origin? And two, the direction of rotation. So let's take those two guys we found on the last video as our example. So we had our general solution was going to be C1 times E to the 2T cosine t minus sine t cosine t plus c2 e to the 2t cosine t plus sine t sine t. So we can see right away that because both e exponents are positive, our curves are flowing away from the origin. So whatever we draw is going to have an arrow pointing away from the origin. So curves flowing out because we have a positive exponent. Now in terms of direction, the way to do this is just start drawing curves and see what you get. So let's start drawing a picture. So here's going to be x1, here's going to be x2. So what I want to do is I want to draw these two curves. So this one here in red and this one here in green. I'm going to draw these two and use that as a basis to see what's going on. So at t equals 0, where is the red curve? So t equals 0, the red curve is at e to the 0 times 1 minus 0 1. So it's at 1, 1. And then at t equals, let's go with pi over 2, we're at e to the pi times 0 minus 1, 0. So we're at e to the pi times minus 1, 0. So at t equals 0, we're at 1, 1. And at t equals pi over 2, we are at e to the pi times negative 1, 0. So we're somewhere out here. We have to go over the top because we're not going to cross over the x2 equals 0 line until we hit pi over 2. So we have to go over the top. And so it's going to be something like this. And we're going to be circling, but we're taking off in a positive direction this way. And negative direction, we just go the other way around and we're going in towards 0. Something like that. Now the green curve at t equals 0, this is at e to the 0. 1, 0. So this is at 1, 0. And at t equals pi over 2, we're at e to the pi times 1, 1. So we start at 1, 0, which will be somewhere like here. Yeah, this curve should drop it, let's put it here. And then as time goes on, we end up at e to the pi times 1, 1. So we end up sort of up here. And we're going way out this way. And again, as time goes backwards, we're going to sort of fiddle in here like this. So it ends up being a lot of a guess as to what the solutions are looking like, but you can get a lot out of just the directionality of the curves and um, whether you're going in or out of the origin. So then if you wanted to fill in some other curve, you could say, oh, if I'm starting here, what am I going to do? Well, I have to sort of stay in between here and then go off like this. So you can sort of guess whatever you want just based on that. So this is what would be called a spiral source because it's a spiral and everything's going out. A spiral sink is the opposite one where they're all coming in. All right, so there's drawing phase portraits. Let's now look at some tips for solving these equations. So when you do the eigenvector eigenvalue stuff, you're going to end up solving something like this, x1, x2 equals 0. But r is going to end up being a complex number because you're going to take your character's polynomial, you're going to find its roots, you're going to get complex numbers. So this is going to end up being complex valued. and what you're going to have to realize is that you're, al you're allowed now to multiply by i to simplify your expressions out. So for instance, if I do that and I get to an equation that looks like this. So say I have i x1 minus x2 equals 0. 
and then I have x1 plus i x2 equals 0, these two are still the same equation. Why are they the same equation? Because what happens if I multiply the second equation by i? If I multiply this equation here by i, what do I get? I get i x1 plus i squared x2 equals 0, but i squared is negative 1. So i x1 minus x2 equals 0, which means this is redundant to the original equation. So you're allowed to multiply by i to simplify stuff. And it's going to be sort of crucial in how you do this is to pick your which thing you set to 1 appropriately. For instance, if I now have this top equation, I now have something that tells me i x1 equals x2. So my best bet here is to pick x1 to be 1, so I just know x2 is i. And then I get 1i as an eigenvector. And again, you're allowed to have complex numbers flying around at this point because it's what you're going to get when you have complex eigenvalues that you need to go through the process we did before to reduce that to a real imagined part solution, but complex eigenvectors and complex eigenvalues are going to happen when you're solving these problems this way. All right, so that's sort of the main tip I wanted to hit for this one. Um, the next video is going to cover some examples which will show you all this process and how it works out, so that'll hopefully make things more clear and more understandable with how you actually go about trying to solve these problems. All right, so that's it for this one. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next one with examples on solving these sorts of problems.